95.5 KLOS. Skin Dive and Takeover with Muse and Plug In, baby. Oh, yeah. Already we had people <laughs> just walk into the studio going like, F yeah, that was so good. <laughs> nice job. Now, you were, you were a Muse fan from way back. Yes. It's, now, I know that you grew up in Europe, right? Scotland? Yes, I lived there for 20 years. And uh, was this something you picked up kind of over there? You were a little bit early on it? because uh, you because you were in in Scotland and definitely it was one of my one of my friends from back uh, when I was a teenager like 15 years old was a huge muse fan so that was when I started listening to them too and never looked back <laughs> <laughs> so you grew up in Scotland mm -hmm. um, you're African American you're born here right um, I'm mixed race mixed mixed race mm -hmm. okay biracial and, or multiracial I don't Multi? know multiracial yes, I'm yes. A mutt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, that's got to be kind of a, an interesting experience being uh, American and multiracial in a place like Scotland, which is sort of uh, a mono culture. Oh, yes. I, I experienced quite the bit of bullying in school. I was the weird kid with frizzy hair and big glasses and, and very awkward. And because I was American, the kids picked on me a lot. Isn't it weird how the, you know, the weird awkward kid then turns out to be like the object of people's fantasies you know later on. I always on. find that quite amusing. You know actually. you know there are some guys back in Scotland right who are like oh my god I knew her. I was like oh I'm so stupid. Should have been cool. Um, I find great pleasure in that. <laughs> Especially the guys that dumped me unceremonially. Oh man. Do you do you ever hear from any of those guys? Not really. Okay. So you, you know, we mentioned all these awards you've won. It's all within really like a couple of years, right? You haven't been actually doing this that long, right? It's been about four years now. So how does all of this happen so fast? How do you go from, uh, you know, Scotland to, you know, being at the top of the adult field? Well, um, before I got into porn, when I was still living in Scotland, I dabbled in fetish modeling and I also was a stripper which was interesting, stripping in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And um, I did that for quite a few years, and I did a lot of, like, alt modeling, like, um, you know, that kind of, like, suicide girl-esque type right. situation. You did some fashion stuff too, right? Yeah, I did a little bit of fashion, but I actually did um, a lot of fashion uh, since I got into the industry. So getting into the industry, for me, I had an advantage because I already knew how to pose and I already knew how to be sexy and and teas and stuff so it definitely gave me um an advantage over other new girls yeah how much how much of your job is is being hot and how much of it is you know is being hot if you know what i mean like being the difference between being attractive and 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 your kind of what you put into it from a, a mental standpoint there's definitely more to it than just being a pretty face you have to have that that raw sexual energy that shines through and a lot of that is just enjoying the experience you know like you don't want to be watching a girl that's constantly like oh my god is my hair okay and right. i mean i pull some pretty weird faces when i'm <laughs> performing <laughs> but it's because like you know when you're into it and you're you know, but it is a performance <laughs> in some way, right? It is a performance. Like you have to make sure that your face is in shot and stuff and, you know, opening up to the camera so right. that people can see the action. Yeah, you have to always have that in the back of your mind. But at the same time, I, I find myself just losing myself in the scene. And if I start like if I, you know. I'm not in the shot, my face is in the shot for a second, then it's just <laughs> part of the experience. Right, right, right. <laughs> I find a lot of people are probably losing themselves in, in the scene when, when you're doing the scene. Um, all right, so I, we, we've got to take a break. I've already realized. We're already, like, I got so many questions, and I actually want to play some music. So okay. uh, you've got, uh, you got some Bowie that we picked out. We're going to yeah. play that. This is, I'm, excited. I'm excited to talk about that. We're gonna, we're, we'll talk about some Bowie, we'll play some Bowie, uh, and we'll get the, let the sponsors get paid, mm -hmm. and we'll be back with more with Skin Diamond. It's KLOS. It's the part of your day that's the most beneficial. 